Good evening everyone, welcome to the Wonderland Asylum. This is my first ever stream, so I'm rather nervous and I've not a clue what I'm doing. I have no idea if it's even working. Uh, but what you can see in front of you is one of my favourite reboots. Favourite game of mine from my childhood, even though it was an 18. Cough, cough. Wild away many evenings, hiding in a friend's room, playing Carmageddon. And... As you can see, they've stayed true to their roots with the original two characters, Max Damage and Diana. There's no real difference between the two, just a slight... Max Damage's car is slightly heavier, Diana's is slightly faster. I always go with Max Damage because, well, although it is a wrecking game of woman driver... Nah, yeah. So, you can be pulping puppies with hammers, normal rampant insanity, or, uh, yeah, that one. Mm, let's go with normal rampant insanity, shall we? Now, this is classic Carmageddon. There are three ways to win a race. You can wreck every opponent, you can race, or you can kill every pedestrian. Now, there are hundreds of pedestrians on every map, so I don't imagine that that's... Uh, going to be particularly easy. Now, in the original game, there was only one uh, game mode, and that was this one, the classic Karma. Uh, and this looks like a reboot of the original Arena. Now, as I say, I really, really enjoyed the original, so I'm going to be extremely disappointed if this doesn't live up to to those standards. recognise that car. And uh, Harley Q8i, it does. <laughs> Apologies to people who are watching this on YouTube later. I am streaming it on Twitch. Uh, that will be uploading it to my YouTube channel. A shameless plug here to the people who are watching me on Twitch. The YouTube channel is Wonderland Asylum Gaming. So as I say, welcome to Wonderland Asylum. I am Mr. J Titan. And if you don't get the reference... Oh dear! Okay, the loading times haven't improved much, but that's because it loads up the entire area instead of just the basics, which means there's no load times. Now the visuals in this are stunning. And as we can see, there's a big fat policeman, as is typical in America. Now, and... My car is really slow. Catch up. I can wreck. Ooh, very nice. Now this isn't a, a racing game in the classical sense. It's kind of. I'm trying to think. Grand Theft Auto meets Gran Turismo. As you can see there, the guy just rammed into the lamp post. Has lost his front wheel. He is a member of the Auto Scum from the original game. Uh, I'm going to wreck him here. Now, as I say, one of the things you can do to win the race is wreck every opponent. There we go. And it gives a suitably nice explosion when you kill them. There's a lot of pickups you can get around the, the course. And I just got an achievement for wrecking my first car. Lovely. But... <laughs> you can also be wrecked, but if you hold Y it will repair your car on the fly. Now your opponents can't do this. It's just something you get for being the, the player. Now that looks like a version of the Lamborghini Countach that's chasing me about just now. And if I remember the original, that's driven by a guy in a gimp suit called Cutter. Um, I'd have called him Emu myself if he's in a gimp suit and likes to cut himself, but hey ho. Oh dear, I'm not doing terribly well here, am I? Apparently the minimap points me to both the next checkpoint I need to go through and where my nearest opponent is. And my nearest opponent is smashing into the side of me, so I don't really need that at present. Oh, look! Little old lady with a Zimmer frame. Hiya! <laughs> 
that's one of the things I, I always enjoyed about Carmageddon was that you could just shamelessly run over old ladies, fat people. Oh, there's another old. Oh, she seems fine without her Zimmer frame. I smell a fault, a dodgy disability claim there. Oh dear. Well, it didn't go as planned, did it? But if you press X, it will recover you to the last time you were on your wheels. Now, as you can see, I've got a really wibbly wobbly back wheel there, and the game's telling me I need to repair. Well, thank you. Uh, that was a pickup called Temporary Rapture, which makes pedestrians really easy to to run over. Ooh. There we go. Let's see, I've repaired my dodgy wheel. And, oh, I've just stolen his car. Uh, that's another... Per oh, look, there, there appears to be uh, an American football player in a wheelchair, which is kind of strange, but hey, I'm going to run him over anyway. And steal his wheelchair, apparently. And there we go, I used another pickup called the Earthquake Bomb to throw the armoured Volkswagen Beetle away from me. And there we go, wrecked him too. Mm -hmm -hmm. Right. Now, I don't know where the rest of my opponents are at present, so I'm going to start doing a bit of the race and hopefully show off a little bit of this track. This track's very similar to Mame Street from the original Carmageddon title. I d I, I'm really sorry to keep harping on about the original, but as I say, it was a big, big part of my, my childhood. I really enjoyed it. Excellent game way way ahead of its time, an open world racing game, a sandbox racing game, fantastic. Uh, they did make other games in the Carmageddon series, uh, but I won't harp on about them just as much because, well, they were shite, quite honest, utter shite. If you'll pardon my French. Now, again, I can shoot mines out the back of my car. And there we have, I'm sorry but I'm going in here, this isn't part of the track, but this is one of the most fun areas in the game, the uh, City Stadium. <laughs> uh, knocking over meathead American footballers, great fun. And now those who are left are dancing. And I've also picked up a pickup that allows me to electrocute them as I drive around, which is great fun. Now, running over pedestrians as well as smashing up your opposition gives you time, gives you money, and gives you. Yeah, t time and money, that's all it gives you, sorry. And if you run them all over, which as you can see is quite a feat in itself, then it will also give you uh, the win in the race. Now, I don't intend on winning that way, I do intend to ruin the other two opponents' cars. And there's one now. And I missed. Deary, deary me. Now... Ooh. I don't want temporary rapture or afterburner. I definitely don't want self abuse. So there we go. I'm going to change my pickup to be the mine shitting ability. And yes. OK. 
Okay, I'm gonna chase this guy down and smash him up. Ugh, not driving like that, I'm not. So I'll just blow him up with a mine. And if you could hear that noise, that's my dickhead neighbour slamming his door for no apparent fucking reason. This seems to be a hobby of his. My hobby is video games. His hobby is slamming his door and losing his glasses. What a prick. Wish that was his car I was firing mines at. Jackass. Apologies. I don't think anybody really likes their neighbours. Oh dear. There we go. And there's my other opponent. Don't make me come after you. I'm just going to try and collect some pickups. But the physics is quite good in this, in that my car wants to skid down the hill instead of staying on it long enough for me to grab all the pickups. And when you hit the other opponents, it f it's quite an. <laughs> it's quite a nice, meaty smash that you get, so. You feel suitably powerful. An upgrade token. Yep, another change is you can't just buy upgrades, you need to find upgrade tokens to purchase them with. And you have a maximum of 15 upgrade slots for your car. You unlock better weapons as the. Ooh, I've, I've alerted the police. Oh, look, a nun. Can't. Uh, Possibly pass up the opportunity to run over a penguin. Where'd she go? Oh, penguin lady. Come on, spread the word of the Lord. Where are you? Introduce my bumper to Christ. No, she's not there. Oh well. The Lord must have beamed her to... Yeah. The Lord must have beamed her up. No, that's, that's Scotty. Never mind. I'll go and find my actual opponent instead of trying to hunt nuns. Now in what, in what other game can you smash up cars and hunt down old ladies and nuns? And the answer, none. <laughs> and there we go. That's the end of the race and indeed the end of the stream. So many thanks to those of you who tuned in. I hope you enjoyed it and if you send me some comments I'll try and make the next one better. Thank you.